that's working. I know she's born at Brant. Mom was born at Brant. In, in High River, actually. High River. Well, that she, she was lived, they lived at, her family lived at Brant. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, east of High River, about 20 miles of it. And uh, they had a, and I think she and Les, when he married, uh, he, I don't know how he, <coughs> he lived at, I think he was born in Washington State, Cedar Willie or something, I remember, remember that name? Yeah, Grandpa. Yeah. Yeah. And he was, he came to Alberta for whatever reason, when he was younger and spent some years in Edmonton doing it. I think he tried, did some uh, working in a uh, kitchen or some a cafe or something. Like a bakery. bakery. He told me that was story. It a, was it a bakery? I don't he know. He told me the I story of working in a bakery. Oh, yes. About uh, making this kosher bread. Oh, yeah. And, but the baker would put pig fat in it, oh, lard, yeah. which isn't kosher. He oh, said it was the most popular bread that all those Jewish guys would come in bagels. Mm -hmm. And then he said he'd come to work one morning, the baker was there taking a bath in the, in the big tub that they used to mix the dough. Oh. <laughs> he I've also, never heard that story. Yeah, he also told me a story about working on a construction, mining or something. Anyway, there was a blasting involved. Mm -hmm. And he put his pickaxe in to pull out the rock and he came up with a bundle of dynamite on his pickaxe that hadn't exploded. So that was it. He, he, walked, he went over, collected his money, and he left. He said, I would never went back there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but then he said he, he homesteaded. He got homestead there. Yeah, it must have been that. Uh, uh, well, I don't know. They were farming at Brant for, well, that's where they were, for like Roy and Maxine and Roy, and maybe all the kids were born there. I'm not sure. I think so. Oh, and then they went to High <coughs> River. I thought she was from High River. Well, no, they no, born she was born there. There's a hospital there. High River had a hospital. Oh, I see. Brant is just about 20 miles east of High River. That's where oh. the, oh, I see. the Green Ranch was, where they had the big spread. Because he told me a story about he, he got this <coughs> land in a homestead, but it didn't had a house on it. <coughs> I don't know. Anyway, he... <clears throat> he went. He went out to see the property. The, saw the house, and <clears throat> he went back to town to register and whatever. And when he got back up there a week later, there were no windows in the house. And he said his neighbor's house had the windows. And I said, "Well, did you, did you ca call him out on that?" And he said, "No, no, no. You didn't. In those days, you had to get along with people." You know, he took the windows before I was the owner, so I didn't want to, you know, mm -hmm. you relied on, on your neighbor's help. Well, that you must know. have been up at Bluffton, where they lived after they left left Brent, because they were farming in Brent. I think it was during that hungry, th during the hungry 30s, when there was more of a dry period there, where the crops were not doing so well. I, I can't remember which one year it would have been. <coughs> When it was, they moved up, up from Brant up to Bluffton. Hmm. It's a, like Roy and Roy and Maxine. They finished their high schooling at Brant. They stayed with their with their uh, grandmother. Mm -hmm. So when I first when I first got to the ranch, there were Uncle Percy, his wife, uh, Aunt Mabel owned a half section that was part of her her land and was well it was her she had inherited it, I guess through the uh, division of when the uh, when their parents died or whatever it was I can't remember what the details of it was but this half section there was hers and mm -hmm. of course Percy still had the other the home they still were he was she's farming he was farming the home section uh, the whole section that's why he needed the help because he's working in town, he's, he's a John Deere dealer. Oh, so he, that's his, why he had good money. <clears throat> well, he had a, John Deere he had a business anyway. Yeah. 
and uh, of course he had two boys, Mike and uh, oh, Patrick. No, not Mike. Oh, Mike was the oldest, and then there was his brother. <laughs> Gosh, can't remember his name now either. Just had the two boys, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but they were living in town, and they weren't uh, up to doing the farming. Uh, that was a steady job. When you Jack was the, young, the younger mm -hmm. brother. <clears throat> anyway, um, when, uh, it must have been just before the uh, June or something when the school uh, the school year was just about over with because Roy went back to Bluffton and Maxine stayed there for a while to do the cooking for. She did the housework and cooking for Grandma Green and her uncle, what was his name, had a, had a, had one of the Green brothers uh, stayed there. He was a bit simple. He, he was more or less looking after her, I guess, in a sense of what he could, <coughs> but I guess he always had a, <coughs> she needed a cook and a housekeeper to keep her. Mm -hmm. Look after her, really. She was blind. Yeah, was it? Deaf. Deaf. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well. Anyway, see. Then later on, she wanted to go back to Brent too. I guess after a, was it a month, maybe or so, and then she went back to not to Brent to Bluffton to, to her parents. Mm -hmm. And uh, Percy hired someone else to, to come and do the housework for her. Actually, it was a young young girl, but 15 year old, I think it was. She was just out of high school. What's the other? I guess she was still in high school. Mm -hmm. But she was a real twit anyway. So you met Mum there when? She oh yeah, I met her before she was. That's where I met her originally. Yeah. You met her before? No, I'd never met her before because she no. was working, still living with her grandmother. Right. So, so you met her when you went to work there in that farm. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was cooking, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she went to school, come home, did the housework, and, and did the house cooking for her yeah. grandma. Well, how old was she then? Well, I think it was her. I think it was her last year of high school, what, grade 12 or whatever it was. Right. Yeah. Or no, she had another year. I think she, after she did her grade 12 in Edmond. She, after that, that fall, she went to live with a lady she knew, a friend of their family that lived in, she lived in South Edmonton. Mm -hmm. And uh, she had to, do all the housework for the lady for in lieu of rent and all this sort of right, thing. Yeah. And she did another year of. Yeah, she had another year of finished her high school. That's right. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I better get going here, and we'll continue this later. Yeah. You don't mind? No, that's okay. I really, I really like to get this all.